Good day, everyone. In today's topic, we'll be discussing network administration and computer networking concepts. Introduction Computer network is a telecommunication network that connects a collection of computers to allow communication and data exchange between systems, software application, and users. Network administration involves a wide array of operational tasks that help a network to run smoothly and efficiently. Without a network administration, it would be difficult for all but the smallest networks to maintain network operations. One of the most important people in network administration is the network administrator. A network administrator is an individual who is responsible for configuring, commissioning, and maintenance of network infrastructure and services. In an organization, network administrators generally don't typically get involved directly with users instead focus upon configuring, monitoring, and maintenance of network components within organizations LAN or local area network and one or the wide area network infrastructure. A network administrator has different roles and responsibilities. They are even sometimes called as jack of all trades. So here are the different roles and responsibilities of a network administrator. First, ensure data network connectivity. Second, network monitoring and management. Third, testing the network for breaches, if any. Fourth, keeping an eye out for needed updates. Fifth, update access control list or ACLs time to time to regulate network traffic. Now, an access control list is a table that tells a computer operating system which access rights each user has to a particular system object, such as a file directory or an individual file. Next, we have security control enforcement. There are uh, three uh, security controls. It can be physical, technical, or administrative. Now, security controls describes anything tangible that's used or that is used to prevent or detect unauthorized access to physical areas, systems, or assets. This includes things like uh, fences, gates, guards, security budget, uh, badges, and uh, access, co uh, uh, access cards, biometric access controls, uh, security lighting, CCTVs, even surveillance cameras, mo uh, motion sensors, fire suppressions, as well as environmental controls like HVAC and UBDT controls. And lastly, preparing and implementing of security policies and standards. So those are the different roles and responsibilities of a network administrator. We now go to our next topic, which is the computer networking concepts. So what is computer networking? Before we go into details of computer networking, let us first discuss the different terms that we will be using so that you can understand better what is being discussed. First term is network. So network consists of multiple devices to communicate with one another. Okay, so that is a network. Next is computer network. Okay, so is a set of computers that are connected together so that they can share information. So we are talking about multiple computers, two or more, okay, that is connected to each other okay, in order to share different information like files, okay, different files, maybe it can be a photo, a document, and many more. 
Next term is protocol. Now, a protocol is a standard set of rules that allow electronic devices to communicate with each other. Now, these rules include what type of data may be transmitted, what commands are used to send and receive data, and how data transfers are confirmed. So, there are different or multiple protocols like file transfer protocol, internet protocol, and many more. Okay, so there are multiple protocols used okay, uh, in order to, uh, 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 what do you call this, uh, in order for computers to communicate with each other. Now, protocols are very important. Okay, uh, without these protocols, uh, there will be no governing rules in terms of computer communication. Next is bandwidth. A bandwidth describes the maximum data transfer rate of a network or internet connection. It measures how much data can be sent over a specific connection in a given amount of time. Like, for example, uh, 100 uh, megabits per second. Okay, just like what you can see in, or when you try to, uh, what do you call this? Uh, run an application like, for example, a speed test.net. Uh, when you check your the speed of your internet, okay, sometimes it is, or it can also show you the bandwidth of your network. Next, we have the fiber optic or fiber optic cables. Now, fiber optic cables is a high-speed data transmission medium. It contains tiny glass or plastic uh, filaments that carry light beam. So that is how data is transferred uh, using fiber optics. So there are different other options. But as of today, the fastest technology in terms of uh, use to transfer data faster is the fiber optics. Okay, you can also use the uh, Ethernet table, uh, cable, okay, which uses the RJ45 uh, and the UTP cable. Okay, so it will be discussed to you uh, on the next uh, topics, lessons. Okay, next we have the Internet Protocol or the IP. Now, IP provides a standard set of rules for sending and receiving data over the internet. This is one of the examples that I gave you for the protocols. Okay, It allows devices running on different platforms to communicate with each other as long as they are connected in the internet. Okay, so another example is the FTP, as I have uh, mentioned earlier. Now, the file transfer protocol or FTP is used okay, to transmit uh, data or sorry, documents over the network. Okay, so when you're transferring, let's say, for example, you're sending an email and attaching a file over a network, a document file over a network, it uses a file transfer protocol. Now, lastly, the last term is the node. Okay, a node is any system or device connected to a network. Okay, so that is a node. So any computers, any devices, it can be a laptop, a desktop, a cell phone, a tablet, which is connected on a network can be referred to as a node. Now, please keep in mind, uh, of the following terms we have discussed because it will be used uh, during this uh, discussion. We now go to switches. So what is a switch? Okay, a switch are the foundation of most business networks. A switch acts as a controller connecting computers, printers, and servers to a network in a building or a campus. Now, switches allow devices on your network to communicate with each other as well as with other networks, creating a network of shared resources. Through information sharing and resource allocation, switches save money and increase productivity. Now, there are two uh, different or basic types of switches to choose from apart f uh, of your network basics. Okay, uh, these are the managed and the unmanaged switch. Okay, 
the uh, unmanaged switch works out of the box but can't be configured. So like home networking equipment typical offers unmanaged switches. Okay, so next is the managed switch which can be or the opposite of unmanaged. It can be configured. You can monitor and adjust managed switch locally or remotely giving you greater control over network traffic and access. Okay, so the picture being showed is an example of a switch. Okay, so there are different uh, switches as, as mentioned before, which is the manage and unmanage. And each of these uh, switches has different number of ports. So we have the 5 ports, the 24 ports, and the 48 ports, which is the uh, maximum number of ports that can be or that uh, a switch can have okay next okay we have the routers okay so the routers connect multiple networks together they also connect computers in those networks to the internet now routers enables all network computers to share a single internet connection which saves money a router acts as a dispatcher it analyzes data being sent across a network, chooses the best uh, route for data to travel, and send it on its way. Now, routers uh, connect your business to the world, protect information from security threats, and can even decide which computer receives or receive priority over others. So, uh, that is <clears throat> this two uh, uh what do you call this uh devices okay are used okay, to create computer networks or used to connect computers now i know some of you already know or have seen a router this is very common in in uh, in in houses okay so because uh, it uh, saves us from buying computer uh, cables in order to connect computers this is the easiest way to connect to the internet because uh, it uses a wireless connection all you need to have is a uh, a Wi-Fi uh, uh, what they call this device okay in order for you to connect over the uh, router all you need to have is the uh, password okay in order for you to connect to a network but some public uh, connections like what globe uh, provides is uh, uh, free connection for the uh, for for a Wi-Fi connection okay but your connection your internet connection is only limited i think depends um, maybe uh, some of it is one hour some of the uh, free wi-fi connections are 45 minutes you can, can, you can connect for 45 minutes anyway it depends okay next <clears throat> we have the access points okay now the access points allows devices to connect to the wireless network without cables <clears throat> A wireless network makes it easier to bring new devices online and provide flexible support to mobile workers. An access point acts like an amplifier for your network, while a router provides uh, the bandwidth. An access point extends the bandwidth so that the network can support many devices and those devices can access the network from far away. Okay, but an access point, remember this, but an access point does more than simply extend Wi-Fi. It can also give useful data about the device on the network, provides proactive security, and serve many other practical purposes. Okay, so some of the, uh, as, as mentioned, uh, uh, it can give a, 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 an access point can give useful data about devices on the network like for example if you are connected over an access point okay, uh, the uh, system administrator can access your MAC address 
Okay? So, that is one information that can be used okay, to track the activities uh, who is accessing the network. Now, uh, here is an illustration of an access point. Okay, the first one is the access point creating a pure wireless network. So, it can be, it, uh, uh, in this example, it is using a uh, router. Okay, as you can see, a laptop, a PC, or a desktop, and a smartphone uh, is used to connect to an, uh, an, inter uh, an Ethernet. Okay, or a router, sorry, a router. Okay, which is the, the router here is the access point. Okay, the next example or the next uh, illustration, okay, is an access point extending a wired network to a wireless device. So, there are two access points here, which is the switch, okay, and a router, okay. So, access point PTAP0 is the uh, wireless, okay, while the switch is the uh, wired connection so it uses as you can see in the illustration it is connecting a computer a two desktop and a server which uses a wired connection to access the internet and aside from the internet also the uh, the network to be connected into a network while the three the, sorry the two uh, desktop computers in this illustration on the left Okay, a laptop and a smartphone is connected over the network using wireless connection. Using the router as the access point. Okay, we now go to our last topic. Okay, you already know the components, some of the components needed for computer networking. The question now is how computer networks works. Okay, computer networks connect nodes like computers, routers, and switches using cables, fiber optics, uh, or wireless signals. Okay, now these connections allow devices in a network to communicate and share information and resources. Now, networks follow protocols as we have defined earlier which define how communication are sent and received. Now, each device on a network uses an internet protocol or an IP address. Okay? Now, router are, vis are virtual or physical devices that facilitate communications between different networks. Routers analyze information to determine the best way for data to reach each, uh, reach its ultimate destination. Now, switches connect devices and manage nodes to node uh, communication inside a network, ensuring that bundles of information traveling across the network reach their ultimate destination. And that concludes this discussion. Thanks for listening.